Welcome to HP Tuner's GM Gen 4 Training Part 23. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at our rev limiting feature, our catalyst protection, and piston protection. We're going to have a lot to learn, so let's get started. Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about our rev limiting features and our catalyst protection we're going to be working with in our Gen 4 ECMs. So the rev limiter is going to be applied in several different ways. We're going to have a fuel cut, a spark cut, and then we're going to have an actual throttle cut. So we have the choice how we want to implement our rev limiters on our Gen 4s. We're going to be finding that the rev limiters are going to be based on a torque production from the engine. Because we're registering our air mass coming in the engine, we're going to be able to calculate our engine's torque, and therefore we can manipulate either of our cuts, whether it's going to be fuel, spark, or throttle cut, in order to achieve the desired torque output while we're on the rev limiter. We can use this to our advantage and have an incredibly smooth rev limiter. I'm going to be showing you how to do that with a throttle cut. We're going to be moving from our VCM editor into our scanner and taking a look at that process. We're also going to be taking a look at our catalyst protection. That's going to be protecting the cat in case it starts to get overheated and we don't damage it. We're going to be taking a look at how to implement the catalyst protection, keep it in place so that if you're on an automatic transmission in a truck or SUV, you don't lose your active fuel management or having your torque converter not go into lockup mode. We don't want to have that situation happen, so I'll be walking you through that as well. We're going to have a lot to cover, so let's jump into the video so we can check everything out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look at our catalyst protection, our piston protection, and our rev limiting features we're going to find in our GM Gen 4 ECMs. So let's jump in here to the calibration file we have open. This is going to be from a Yukon Denali. It's going to be an E38 ECM. So let's jump in here to this calibration under engine. We're going to go into from general to idle to airflow to fuel, then move across in our tabs here from general, oxygen sensors, open loop base, power and rich, into temperature control. This is going to be where we work with our catalyst protection and our piston protection. So let's take a look at our catalyst protection first. What this is going to do is add a bunch of fuel when we're at wide open throttle to try to cool down the catalytic converters. GM has modeled this on the stock exhaust manifolds and the stock CATs so that if we go full throttle for a certain period of time and the temperature starts to pick up, we need to make sure we don't melt the cats and run into issues. And that's the, the purpose of what this catalyst protection is for. So we're gonna find we have a master toggle here for our COT or uh, catalyst over temperature. We can see we can go from enable to disable. So if you are on a manual transmission car and you've installed a high flow cat or you have uh, cat deletes on, then you definitely wanna go here and just disable it. That's gonna bypass this so we don't have to worry about it. What's going to end up happening is if you put long tubes on the vehicle and you've done uh, and or you've put uh, uh, test pipes or high flow cats, everything is going to be thrown off on the modeling here um, from GM. And it could kick in when we don't want it to uh, more power enrichment or wide open throttle. And it's going to be dumping a whole bunch of fuel.